In this video, we will bake the textures from the high poly model to the low poly model. So how to do that in Substance Painter? So when you have your uh, low poly imported, you just go here into the texture settings and the texture set settings and uh, you will have here the possibility to make a bake mesh maps. Okay. So by default, you have a base color, metallic, rockness, normal and height. And we will just keep it like that for now. Maybe we'll add after, but for now, we'll just keep it like this. And uh, let's bake the mesh maps here. To bake the mesh maps, uh, we will choose an output size uh, that we can see a little what will happen. Uh, something like 2048 for start. Uh, will be good maybe after we will bake it into uh, 4096 to be sure that uh, we will have enough details into the 3d view but just to um, to have a quick one uh, we will make it at 2048 uh, we will choose the high poly mesh the high definition mesh so we'll go there and we will choose our rifle here high poly okay and we will have now uh, everything set. So I just keep here the distance, the max frontal distance and the max rear distance. Um, here is the information that uh, Substance Painter will take above the object and under the uh, uh, and, and and under the object. I mean, it's like it will go a little inside and outside the geometry to search some informations and to see and uh, and to take all of these informations into the textures. Um, maybe we'll have to set it after. We will see how it will work if it were if it will work well. So what I will do, I will bake all texture set. You can uh, bake only the paint. Okay or only the canon as you want but here as if the first start we will bake all texture set with that and we will wait away a little normally with 2048 it shouldn't take that much time uh yeah it yeah so we will just uh, see that together and we will see if we have little problems to resolve or not on that just to be sure that everything will be good we can wait a little and now everything is ready. We can just go there. Uh, we had a little error message about uh, about here that uh, uh, the ID. So it's normal that we uh, the, that we don't have any ID uh, ID information because we didn't make any colors into and in uh, any shaders into uh, Blender for that. So no textures no informations on that so we can see that now we have a little more the roundness uh, that we had before into blender but we had some strange uh, artifact over there for example here i would just decrease the size of my tool like this you can see a little what i talk about like for example here we can see that uh, Substance Painter took the information of this one and did kind of blur on, on this object uh, a little. Uh, a little the same over here. You can see that from here to there, it kind of projects some kind of strange shadows here from this one to that one as well. And uh, it's because the... It's because the rear... Yeah, here we have the can, same size of... Same kind of problems over here and there. So what we will do just as a test, we will change a little the values of uh, our map, uh, our map, our bake map here, and we will come back to the bake. So we have the max frontal and the max rear. So it's far too big. You can see that it goes until there. We want really something that will not cross objects. So we'll put 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0, 0.01, so two zeros, zero. 0 0.001 good and the same for this one one zero more and uh no 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 0 0.001 yeah it will be better and then we just bake again and we will see how it will look i think it should be a little better So really to generate these maps, uh, for example, 
uh, in Blender, it will be a mess. I, I mean a mess, no, it, it, it's not a mess, it's something you can do, but it's something that takes a lot of time. It's time consuming to make all these maps and to make it as well as uh, Substance Painter does just by default. Uh, yeah, it, it will take far more time. So the same kind of uh, two baking process failed for a Canon Metal ID and Paint ID and it's normal. So we just go on OK and now we should have something a little cleaner. As you can see, we have the round edges that came here. We can see that we have some roundness now into the edges, but uh, we don't have this, these strange artifacts that we had before, okay? So we can see that we have some little lines here over there. So here is just the UV that did, uh, that did separate some islands. It's not really a big problem because it will not be uh, visible into the render in the end. And you can see that now we have something far cleaner than before. So we can work with that. Uh, you could already work with the 2048 if you want. If you really want to see well the details, I recommend you if your computer can go through it because it takes, uh, it, it starts to take some memory. But uh, yeah, I recommend you to go there and to bake it in uh, 4000 here. 96, okay? So it takes more time. Maybe I will pause the process during the bake the baking this time, but uh, you will see that you will have far more uh, details into your object and that you will really can see what's happening. So I bake all the texture sets. As you can see, it may take more time. So I come back to you when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished here and uh, you can see that now if I click on OK, I will have really uh, more details into the roundness and things like that so it will be even better and you will see after when we will add some details into that uh, it will be really nice and beautiful what we can do with that we will just maybe open a little the interface that like this we can focus a little more into our 3d object just like that and uh, into the next video we will start to create some material so what you can do just um, before starting create the materials and to make a last verify uh, what you can do you can just play a little with the uh, here the materials here the smart materials sorry and uh, the smart materials they are smart as it tells like for example if I take the paint here I go to the layers I just uh, click and drag for example a layer of uh, steel painted dirty here put it there and you will have something directly that works pretty well as you can see okay and it will be the same for the canon metal for example if you want to take a steel gun here over there uh, we will see that it will work well as well so okay everything is done we don't have to continue anything no no we will uh, we will discover how to really set up a good material and how to make it ourselves because okay it's good to put it like that and to play a little with it but uh, it's good to understand and to uh, to understand where the process how to make these materials really and uh, it will help you after to can really make something uh, yeah, make something that is your own material and that you you will can manage easily after. So I just remove here for now. There's two materials, but we did see that it works pretty well. Okay, and uh, after we will have a look on how to create our own materials into uh, the next video. We will see how to create the paint material.